I'm here with Kenny Bartlett with Point Pest Control. And Kenny, we're starting to see quite a few wasps and yellow jackets, just talking about it in the newsroom. So is it uncommon to see wasps and yellow jackets this time of the year? Uh, no, it's not. And mostly what we're seeing right now are the wasps. Um, the yellow jackets haven't got a chance to get real established yet. What can you do to maybe protect yourself from a wasp or, or a yellow jacket? attacking you while you're out at the park. Don't swing at them. They, they're not aggressive unless made to be aggressive. Bartlett says it's best to just try walking away if you do come across one. He says yellow jackets and wasps are protein hunters and can smell what you might be grilling about 200 yards away. If you're trying to enjoy a hamburger and there's a yellow jacket nest close, they are going to be all over you. And a pest company like us can treat a yellow jacket nest so long as we know where it is. Bartley brought out two different hives. The big one is a yellow jacket nest, and this one is a wasp nest. The insects themselves are also different. Bartlett says wasps are like supermodels with a skinny waist and long yellow legs, and the yellow jackets are bigger with short legs. They're both serious, but the yellow jacket over the wasp is, is a, a way bigger deal. If you're looking to protect your home from these unfriendly insects, Bartlett says it can be done. The wasps, we can prevent it, uh, do preventative maintenance by, by treating the eaves of the house and making it a very foul place for the wasp to want to live. The yellow jackets, on the other hand, there's no predicting where they're going to be. And so there's really no preventative maintenance other than setting out traps right now and trying as, to catch as many of those queens as you can. Amanda Roby, Crime 2 News. Wow, right. Just like to point out.